All right, Imogen 300, let's take a look at how we connect our experiments to the DAC card when we come into the lab in CTLM 123. When you come into the lab, you're going to see a box that looks like this sitting on your lab bench. This box is a connector that connects your experiment to the DAC. So this box it's, itself is not actually the DAC. It's just a bunch of electrical connections inside of a box. So if you want to see the actual DAC card itself that's actually capturing all the data, if you were to grab this, there's a big, huge cable coming out the top that you can follow underneath your lab bench, and it plugs into the back of the workstation at your lab bench. Where it plugs in, there's a card that's in the motherboard on the computer, and that is the physical DAC card that actually does the data acquisition. So this is where we make electrical connections just to the, that DAC card. Um, it's broken up. There's a lot of different connections on here, it's, but they're broken up and organized by their different functions. Most of the time in class, we're going to be playing with the box up here in the top left. These are your analog inputs. So if you need to capture an analog signal uh, to the DAC card, you'll be using one of these analog inputs. You can see that we have eight different inputs available to us here. So they're labeled analog input 0 through analog input 7. We also have analog outputs. So if we need to generate a voltage signal to send to some part of our experiment to control it, we can do it with one of these two analog outputs here, right? So that generates a signal instead of reading in an analog signal. We also have things like a function generator. We have some digital inputs and outputs and some other features, but we tend not to use those so much in this class. We're pretty much focused on the analog inputs and the analog outputs. Um, so with that, let's take a little bit closer look at how we make an electrical connection uh, to the inputs and outputs on our DAC card. Okay, so we've zoomed in on our analog inputs. So let's take a look at a few of the options that are available to us here. So each of the analog inputs has one of these big round plugs that we call BNC plugs available uh, to use for electrical connections. So the BNC is cool because it allows you to make electrical connections, two electrical connections with one plug. So recall that a voltage measurement is defined as the potential difference between two points in a circuit. So we always need two wires going to the circuit to measure the voltage difference between those two points. And that's what LabVIEW is actually interpreting uh, when it displays a voltage for you. So to make those two electrical connections, we have these little adapters, the BNC plug to banana jacks, that allow you to connect two wires to each of these BNC plugs. So the way that we can go ahead and do that is you just push down and twist to lock the BNC jack in place. And now we have two electrical connections that we can go ahead and use to wire to our circuit. Let's take a look at how we can uh, use those banana jacks to wire to our circuit. OK, so here's our banana adapter, as well as a couple of cables that you'll find in your toolbox sitting at your bench when you arrive in CTLM-123. Um, so if we want to connect these BNC plugs to our circuit, we, we can use either of these different types of cables. So both of these cables have a banana plug on the end here. So you can take one of these cables, and you can plug it in to the banana jack. And then you can use the other end to connect to your circuit. So this first one has a little push type test lead. So what you can do here is you can push this out, and you get a little hook that pops out the end of that. And then you can clip that over a wire, like so, and release. And that will clamp that wire securely in place so you can make an electrical connection that way. Um, if you have the need for a little bit more robust connection, you should be able to track down one of these alligator type clips also. So again, you can just plug that straight into the, BNC, the, the banana jack on the BNC adapter. And then you can use this alligator clip to grab a wire. And that's very secure. These are pretty stiff, so they make a really nice electrical connection. right? Um, but they are a little bit bigger and more cumbersome than uh, the test lead type cable I showed just a minute before. Uh, the other way that we can connect to these banana jacks, if we want to save a little bit of room, is each of these terminals will unscrew a little bit. And if you unscrew it far enough, you'll see that there's a hole right here through that central post. So what you can do is you can take your wire 
and you can put your wire inside of that hole and then re-tighten the terminal back down. Oop. This part gets a little bit more fiddly and clamp the wire in place like that, right? And make an electrical connection that way, right? So remember, we're always gonna be using both of these. So we'll have a positive voltage reading and then we typically reference that to ground. So this black terminal is usually connected to wherever you're considering zero volts or ground on your circuit, right? And that's how you can go ahead and use those banana ad adapters to connect wires to your circuit.